Okay, this is 2307 Silver Hill Court in Valrico. Um, just had a, a brief walkthrough with the seller. He's actually still in the house, and there's a dog in the cage. So we'll see if we can get through this without it getting too awkward. Nice guy, but it's always easier when they step out, and not in the house. <clears throat> This is a block house that has a brand new roof, a brand new AC. Um, the pool does need to be resurfaced. Um, I'll try to show you that when I'm there, but I'm just telling you now in case he's right next to me when I'm in, in the house or walking the property. But other than that, I mean, it seems like a really well-kept house. There is some uh, wall walls that he's uh, puttied up and still needs to... Uh, paint, but he's going to paint those walls or do those repairs before he sells. Just giving you a little panoramic view of this cul-de-sac. Uh, this house has been on the market one one day, and he says he's already had five showings. So just just goes to show you the crazy market that we're in. All right, so this is a three bedroom, two bath, two car garage, kind of an open floor plan. And let's see what it looks like. So when you walk in, you do have the uh, tile foyer, little dining room area, <laughs> living room area. Uh, does have the the taller cathedral ceilings. This is a, a laminate floor. Takes you to the bedrooms. I'll do the bedrooms. So a little coat closet here. Does have two full bathrooms. This is the um, secondary bathroom or hall bathroom. I'm trying to see if I can find the, the light. Here it is. Sorry about that. So it is a shower tub. Like a, like a porcelain. We have the master through here. <laughs> he has a dog. So that's what I was talking about. Where they're gonna they're gonna go ahead and paint that. You know they've already puttied it up. They're gonna paint it, and make it look it look fine. You have the closet here behind the mirror. I'll show you that in a moment. This is the master bath. Does have a single single sink. And then it's a, a shower tub as well. or any things like that. Um, hey buddy. All right. So you have the sliding uh, closet here. So they're not giving you a whole lot of closet space. It's long, but, but not very deep. So it's your closet to the master. There's another spot that's going to be repaired. This does have popcorn ceilings. This is built in late 80s. The AC is brand new, year old, or, or this year, I should say. We have a secondary bedroom. Does have, once again, the glass uh, door with closet behind it. And then we have the third bedroom. Um, he says he could be out in... 30 days, as far as time frame goes. Uh, there is no ceiling fan. You see the imprint of one. So I'm not sure if that means there's electrical. This one has a ceiling fan. And this one does not. 
Okay, so going back into the living room area. Kitchen and all the appliances today, even the washer dryer, which is out in the um, garage. We spoke about this as a stainless steel appliance and it does have a black fridge, an old black fridge that's in the garage and uh, that stays. So there's the old black fridge, but they have the new stainless. Has a side door. It is a block, block house. You see a little bit of flaking in the ceiling area. Um, washer dryer stays. So it does have front, front loaders in the garage. Hot water heater. Hard to tell the age, but you can get a new one for 500 bucks. It's not a huge expense, but Hard to tell. It's also hard to predict the, the life of them as well. Okay, so that's your garage. Um, you can see he's out there on the patio. I'm going to take you through to the patio and to the pool area, and then we'll get out of here. Or I'll get out of here, I should say. This is going back to the front of the house. Has this little area. He put a little table when you walk in. Just giving you some other perspectives of this uh, living room area. This is about 1,200 square feet, this house. It's nice with the three panels of glass. There's the bar and the kitchen. Obey the cook. It does have a lot of natural light coming in as well. Okay, so let's do the patio real quick. Hey. Here, I'll move. Yes, okay. Don't, don't get this. Alright, we'll swap spots. See there, starts off. That's a wonderful thing. <laughs> Before I got the new air, the electric bill was 300 a month. Wow. Yeah, it's, it makes sense to upgrade. It looks beautiful. It looks brand new. It is brand new. I know, it looks it. <laughs> it looks good. So here's, yeah, 300 is way too much for a house of this size. So basically they, they put this type of, uh, this concrete here, so, so there's like no ground cover on this part of the property. They do have a little bit of lawn to this side of the property. We didn't want a lawn. <laughs> well, you fixed that problem. So it's a pretty good sized pool, pretty deep. What's this pool, like seven feet deep? Uh, six and a half, and it's a 14 by 28. 14 by 28, six and a half. You have a pair of glasses in the pool. That's right. It's a pair of glasses. That's mine. <laughs> but I'm not getting in right now to get them. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's a good sized pool. This is dirty. Yeah, well it's tough when you don't have a cage, because then you're susceptible. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it keeps the pool warmer, no question. You don't have too much hanging over your house, but the palms can get into the pool a little bit. They don't use like actually. Yeah. But it's dirty. I'm going to have to call Carla right now and say, what's the problem? The yard's a little tore off, but the beauty of the pit. <laughs> hey, it's his playground. It's a sandbox. So you have some yard space to this side of the house. Yeah. All nice and block. The siding looks good. What? The siding looks good. All of it looks like it's in great shape. This is the neighbor's PVC. Um, this would be your fence right here. What happened? No, I'm just telling them whose fence is whose. Your neighbor fell down in front of you and died? Yeah. Wow. I was devastated. Yeah, that's kind of dramatic. It's kind of crazy. And when they put him in the ambulance, his, his arm flopped over, and I just like, 
out. Yeah, I'm sure that will be in your head the rest of your life. So the neighbor's roof is in need. And that one's tarp. You have a couple neighbors that need a new roof as well, huh? I guess they're all about the same age. These were built in 1982. 82, huh? And then you can see this, this screen lanai that he's inside of. So you do have that lanai off of the house. Do you know if the roof it warranty is transferable? Yeah. It is? Okay. It's a lifetime warranty, actually. Excellent. 30-year single? Yeah. Okay. Dimensional. Dimensional, that's good.